This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 439-124-1. That's cflroads dot com forward slash pro J-E-C-T forward slash 439-124-1. For online participants, the GoToWebinar control panel should be visible in the upper right corner of your computer screen. If joining GoToWebinar on your mobile device, simply tap the screen to display the same options. The blue arrows in both images point to where you will find the question box. You can type a comment or a question into the question box. Then click send to submit your comment or question to staff. The red arrows in both images point to where you can find handouts, documents, and comment forms for this public meeting. Click the handouts icon to see available handouts. Click on the file name to download. If you happen to experience a technical issue during this meeting, please type the issue in the questions box on the control panel on GoToWebinar or send an email to carolyn.fitzwilliam at dot.state.fl.us to report it. That's C-A-R-O-L-Y-N dot F-I-T-Z-W-I-L-L-I-A-M at dot.state.fl.us. dot fl dot us. You may also call 386-943-5215. Staff will do their best to assist you. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386 9435077 or email at melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. That's M E L I S S A dot M C K I N N E Y at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Sewanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. That's S-T-E-F-A-N dot K-U-L-A-K-O-W-S-K-I at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. The State Road A1A Improvements Project extends from just south of Osprey Drive to north of Mariner's Drive in Flagler County. In addition to repaving this section of State Road A1A to extend the life of the roadway, a goal of this project is to improve safety for all users. Pedestrian improvements include two new mid-block crosswalks, one at Varn Park and one just south of Westmire Place at Treasure by the Sea. 
Both of these crossings will have pedestrian activated signals known as Rectangular Rapid Flashing Beacons, or RRFBs. The RRFBs are flashing lights that are pedestrian activated and give more visibility at marked crosswalks to alert drivers to pedestrians. The two rapid flashing yellow lights are mounted below a yellow pedestrian crossing sign. They remain dark until activated by a pedestrian wishing to cross. When pedestrians come to the intersection, they push the button to activate the beacon. You can find the button on the pedestrian crossing sign under the Look Push Button for Warning Lights sign. The lights located above will begin flashing to alert motorists of the pedestrian's intent to cross the street. After pressing the Warning Lights button, pedestrians should look both ways before crossing and make eye contact with drivers. Pedestrians may then enter the crosswalk when motorists have come to a complete stop or there is no traffic closer than safe stopping distance. Pedestrians should continue to look in both directions while crossing the street. Florida law requires drivers to stop at any crossing when pedestrians are visible, stop when flashing lights are activated, once the pedestrian crosses and is no longer in the travel lane, proceed on with caution. For more information about RRFBs and other safety strategies, please visit alerttodayflorida.com. Improved crosswalks are also proposed at three locations. The first is just north of Painter's Walk. The next location is north of Driftway Terrace. And finally, the third location is just south of Mariner's Drive. An RRFB is also proposed at this crosswalk just south of Mariner's Drive. Additionally, raised medians are proposed just north and just south of Mariner's Drive. The medians will not block access to any driveways or side streets. They will provide visual cues to drivers to help encourage safer speeds. Another safety feature is the addition of speed feedback signs near the crosswalks. New sidewalk is also planned that would connect to the existing sidewalk on the southbound side of State Road A1A, starting at the mid-block crossing at Varn Park and ending at Mariner's Drive. Also, travel lanes will be restriped to create a wider shoulder, which will now be marked for bicyclists. Design is underway for this project and is anticipated to be complete in spring 2024 at an estimated cost of $1.2 million. All work is being done within the existing right-of-way. Construction is anticipated to begin in summer 2024 at an estimated cost of $3.1 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by February 10th, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment to be included in the public meeting record, please complete a written comment form and return it to project staff. All written comments will be responded to in writing after the public meeting. To submit a comment or question online, please type the comment or question in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 439124-1. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at joseph.fontanelli at dot.state.fl.us. That's J-O-S-E-P-H dot F O N T A N E L L I at D O T dot S T A T E dot F L dot U S or by U S mail at the Florida Department of Transportation 719 South Woodland Boulevard mail station 542 
Deland, Florida 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5234 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about this project, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 439124-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by February 10th. Contact information, a recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 439 one two four dash one. Have a good evening.